So I saw the video and everything that happened yesterday uh, in front of the embassy of the poor man who um, set himself on fire. Um, and I've, I've been following the developments for the last few months in Gaza and it's really broken my heart to see just how much damage we've done and how much our government has given money to Israel and the forces that are used to attack Palestinians. Um, and what that man did last night I thought was an extreme act, but an act of morality, you know. Um, and I think uh, we should all hope to be that brave. My name is Josephine Gilbo. I'm 35 years old and I'm a former intelligence officer in the U.S. Army. So you're not, you're not active duty? No, no longer. Last year I got out of the military. I think so there are several reasons. Number one, a genocide is taking place in Gaza and um, 1.5 million refugees are sitting in Rafah right now facing imminent death. It's We're on the, the cusp of a holocaust at this point. Um, and number two is Aaron, his death cannot be in vain. His message needs to get out. And we also need to make sure that we are supporting anybody else that's like Aaron that's having these same feelings. Because how are we supposed to deal with a genocide? We've never seen anything like that this before in our lives. And our government just expects that the American people are going to watch this unfold for five months now and there aren't going to be any mental issues. Of course there's mental issues across the board. Anybody with access to the Internet is watching a genocide unfold in modern day time. I think it's probably half and half, if I have to be honest. Um, when I talk to former colleagues or people who are still in the military or were in the intelligence community, I think I get sort of half of the responses. I think collectively most of them do not agree in sending any more unconditional aid to Israel. That's for sure. There's a collective agreement on that.